we now come to the vector product or the we come to the vector product or the cross product of two vectors okay why vector product because the product is a vector unlike the scalar product and and it is denoted by so say this is a this is b and this is theta then we are trying to define a cross b okay we are trying to define a cross b and that is equal to a that is mod a let me write it like that mod a mod b this time it is sin theta but that is the magnitude okay i multiply it by a vector called n cap where n stands for normal and cap makes it unity so n stands for normal so it's a normal vector okay it is a normal vector fine now normal to what okay it's normal to what normal to what normal to the plane containing normal to the plane containing both a and b containing both a and b okay so it is normal to the plane that contains both a and b okay to both a and b so it is normal to this white board currently okay had it been something like 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 this then it would have been this plane Okay, or this, or this, or that. Okay, but the first thing that you have to do now, 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 perpendicular to it, there are two vectors, right? One coming out, another going in. So, which one of them? Okay. So, what we do? We make the vectors coinitial. Make the vectors coinitial first. second with their tails hinged with their tails hinged what you do you try to bring the first vector on to the second vector through the smaller angle try to bring the first vector in the vector product okay the first vector so here it is here which is the first vector a here a on the second vector which is the second vector b okay here b through the smaller angle through the smaller angle so so i try to bring a on to b and in doing so if it is hinged i i i'll have to move it like this that is clockwise now what happens now what happens what will happen that's a clockwise direction and if i take a right handed screw and 99.99% of the 
screws that will be coming across will be a right handed kind of screw. So, so if I move it clockwise, its linear motion will be in linear, okay? Its linear will be in. So, then the direction of through the smaller angle which is clockwise here this is clockwise here now the linear direction in which a right handed screw moves is the direction of N cap. Okay. Is there a bottle here? No. So, so it's something like this. This bottle is a right handed screw. So, I, I, I hold it in my own plane and if I, if I move it clockwise, it has a tendency to get closed. So, it moves in. So, that is the direction of the end cap. Okay. So, it is end cap. End cap is length 1. Okay. And that multiplied by mod a mod b sin theta. So, what is the length of that vector that is into the board? That becomes 1 into this. So, in effect, the length of the vector becomes this. So, it is a vector whose length is mod a mod b sin theta and whose direction is into the board. Very, very, very important. More, more important in doing physics, right? In Q, V cross B, the magnetic forces, they are